Boys, welcome back to CFM. I apologize for last week. Week three, we were off. You know, I was tired as a coach. I was a little still drunk from the night before, and we took one of the most humiliating and embarrassing losses of my coaching career. I threw six interceptions, and we took our second loss of the season, so our record is now one and two, and we are in dead last in the AFC West. Now, on a more positive note, if you take a look at the player awards for week three, Quandre Diggs was the defensive player of the AFC with four interceptions. And that's that's our guy right there, all right? He had a rough week one. He's been bouncing back. And now we just need Harrison Smith to follow in the footsteps of the example Quandre Diggs has set for this team. Additionally, we got a new ability on Marquise Brown. So now he has short and elite and grab and go. Uh, I would ideally want to put something like short out elite on him or something more valuable, but he doesn't really get anything because of his rating. So short and elite and grab and go. Uh, and other than that, the team is exactly the same. This week, we're going to try to really get the ball to Adam Thielen and get him in space because I think Adam Thielen is really our best player on offense. Uh, on defense, Quandre Diggs still looking to play lights out like he did last week. And Harrison Smith, who is now demoralized. Negative one on his ratings across the board. He's now, instead of a 91 overall, he's a 90 because he's been playing that poorly, all right? So defense needs to step it up a little bit. Offense, uh, throw less interceptions. Malik Willis, I'm looking at you, all right? We put a lot of faith in you, Malik. Don't mess it up. This week in week four, we have an interdivision game against the Broncos. This is a huge matchup because, like I said, we're in dead last right now. So beating a division rival will boost us within our division and bring us closer to the playoffs. The Broncos are led by Baker Mayfield, 91 overall, uh, with 82 speed and an X-Factor. His running back is Kene Nwangu. 71 overall, 94 speed halfback. Uh, pretty impressive with the speed there. Tight end is Devontae Parker with 89 speed. And his wide receivers are DK Metcalf, 90 overall with 95 speed. Rashad Bateman with 92 speed. And Andrea Bacellia with 95 speed. Not to be confused with the Italian opera singer Andrea Bacelli, uh, but I'm sure they are related somewhere in that lineage. Cornerback Jamel Dean. 91 speed, 94 speed actually, 84 overall. Darius Williams, 81 overall with 90 speed. Uh, Demodor Lenoir, 91 speed, 76 overall. I'm doing pretty good with the pronunciation today, by the way. Uh, the free safety for the Broncos are is Eddie Jackson, 85 overall with 92 speed. And the strong safety is Buda Baker, 91 overall with 91 speed. Now let's take a look at his abilities. Baker Mayfield has Hot Route Master, Gunslinger, Protected, Pass Elite, and Fearless. DK Metcalf with Short In and Short Out Elite. That is going to be an incredible problem because that means we cannot play man press at all. 95 speed, 6 foot 4. Uh, with those abilities, yeah, no one's covering him. Taron Armstead has Secure Protector and Threat Detector. Buda Baker with Pick Artist, Deep Out Zone KO. Rodney Hudson with Secure Protector and All Day. Kenny Clark with Double or Nothing and Unpredictable. Eddie Jackson with Deep Out Zone and Pick Artist. And Jamel Dean with Flat Zone KO. This guy has some phenomenal abilities, all right? And the biggest problem is going to be DK Metcalf, but he also has two Secure Protectors. So our edge threat and our, and our Double or Nothing off the edge is not really going to come in because of his O-line abilities. Now, before we get into the game... We're playing my editor, by the way, Outer J. My man, Josh. Say hi to everyone, Josh. Uh, I like videos, too. He's currently editing this video after the game is over, so he already knows what happens. And, and I'm hoping, Josh, I'm talking to you in the future. I'm talking to future Josh. I'm hoping you're about to edit me kicking your ass. Bring it on! Tough L last week. This week, we bounce back. Now, this is a home game for me. Yet I just checked I'm wearing white uniforms. I really hope the Broncos are not also wearing white. Because that would be a problem. And guess what? The Broncos are wearing white. And this is why we should have checked jerseys before the game. Josh has a proposition. And I want, I want to ask you guys what you think. Okay, so to all you guys in the chat, my proposition that was just brought up. Do we run aggressive ball carrier? To increase the likelihood of fumbles. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about it, but I, I, I might be down if you guys want to see that. If you guys would rather see that, we can do that. No, no, okay. We don't have to do that. No. All right, everyone's saying no. Everyone's saying no. All right, all right. Uh, everyone's saying no. It's for content. Yeah, but Josh, if the viewers if the viewers who are consuming the content are saying no, then, then it's not for content. All right, baby. Let's get into it. Broncos, Raiders, Josh, Mays. Come on, baby. So for this game, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm normally running Big Nickel over GNCFM, but because he has the secure protectors on the outside, we're going to switch it up, and we're going to run Dollar, all right? And I know that's what I typically run, so I'm actually a little bit more comfortable in Dollar as it is. So I'm not really too mad about it. Um, we just got to make sure we are not getting beat in the run game. That's really all I care about here. 
And, of course, we didn't get our defense set up at all. And like I said, we cannot be running any man coverage against this man because of DK Metcalf. He audibles from Trips tight end to U Trips. And I forgot Josh runs U Trips, all right? So Josh is going to be running a high-powered offense just like your boy, Coach Mays. All right, there's Bachelia. Motion blocked. Man, that's got to be a pick, my friend. You can't throw that pass. Baker Mayfield flirting with an interception early. All right, first and 10. We are manning up the solo receiver and the running back. And then we're going to have to help. Yeah, the tight end's wide open. I had a curl flat out there. All right, now we're going to have to start running maybe hard flats too. All right, Josh is dinking and dunking his way down the field early. The running back's going to be there. All right, man. All right, we had a hard flat. And again, if he, the thing about CFM is, is there's so many lower overall players with whether it's low speed, low uh, play rec, low zone coverage, where they react to the ball much slower, and they obviously don't have any zone KOs either. All right, four seconds. He motions in. It's going to be... He's going to have to... Oh, he got it off. He got it off. And there we go! Matt Judon! Almost with the interception. And that's what I was talking about. The pressure comes in. Let's let's throw a little fluke in there, right? Let's try to get lucky here. All right, this is what our defense looks like right here. We cannot be letting the tight end beat us deep. He only has 89 speed, so I'm hoping our slot corner... Uh-oh. All right, we're going to put an outside third right there. We should be all over this. We. Oh, no, that's a good dot. He had a lot of time, man, and we are nowhere to be found. Harrison Smith still unable to make a play on the ball. He had so much time right there. Uh, that's what, you, what that happens when you only rush three. And I didn't get the pressure off again. The corner route's going to be open. Kalen Barnes is not there. And you know what? A great drive from Josh. I would say almost a flawless drive from Josh. We got dotted down the entire field. All right, man. You know, I got caught on the D-tackle, and I think if I was on my user, I probably would have run over there with that corner route. Uh, PA slot corner. All right, man. Offense on the field now, and we need to answer back. We need to answer back quickly. Adam Thielen looks like he's going deep. We got to throw the drag there. Christian Watson. You know, his user ran with with uh, with the post. I wanted either the post or the streak. All right, so on play one, he ran match. All right, we got 97 speed Marquise Brown. And if Malik Willis puts it on the money, there's no one who can run with him. There's no one who can run with him. All right, so you better put a safety over the top. That's all I'm going to say. And by the way, I forgot to let you guys know that we also got an upgrade on our guy, Hollywood Brown. And guess what we got on the upgrade? We got speed. So Hollywood Brown is now actually 98 speed, all right? And we're going to see if, if he's open again, we're probably going to throw that again. And guess what? He's open again. So guess overthrown. Overthrown. I mean, that that should be a dot. That should be a dot. All right, he's running cover four again. We should have our running back. There it is. Leonard Fournette, great catch, and that's another first down. No, it's not. Third and inches, we're going to hurry to the line. I know for a fact that this man does not have inside stuff, and I also know for a fact that the run game is usually really good in CFM, but not today, I guess. All right, man, that's that's very unfortunate because I've never really seen anybody ever make a play in the run game in CFM. So can we, can we get the first on fourth down? Thank you, and there's the touchdown. We answered back. Very risky down inside the 10, all right? I would have liked to see a first down and not... Take it to fourth, but I'll take the points. Oh, he's showboating on my ass. He's showboating on my ass, and now he's concussed. All right? You better watch yourself, Josh. All right, we are going. Oh, there's a run game, and guess what? Brandon Graham, the veteran, gets in the backfield. I was just talking about how good the run game is in CFM, and then so far the run game has been pretty pitiful on both ends. All right, we got to get Barnes back. He's got 97 speed, but DK Metcalf is very tall, and so I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to test that sideline at some point. We're running with the corner out here. All right, that's a good that's good defense, right? That's the same play he scored on. This time we made the adjustment. We got on our user. We shut it down. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, I was going to say, wouldn't be surprised to see an audible there. All right, he throws to the flats. We got to beat. Oh, my God. The 94-speed halfback gets outside of Kalen Barnes. And, you know, Kalen Barnes did not feel quick there. And he has 97 speed. All right, we're blitzing five again. I told you guys we got to rely on a little bit of fluke here because so far, as you can see, even if you throw it to the flats, the gains are enormous, all right? So we're going to start dialing up the pressure a little bit. And that's that's Baker Mayfield. Oh, my God. We just blitzed everyone. And he gets 10 yards on the ground. Come on, boys. Come on, somebody. Oh, almost. We had a couple guys closing in. Taking his sweet time at the line, making 40 million adjustments. All right, there's a the tight end. That's a dot. You know, I said the tight end was my first read. I dropped on the drag. Good dot for my opponent. 
That's a hard flat. Oh, baby! Oh, that was close. Again, I feel like we're so close on some of these, but that's CFM. It's not like Mutt where you're going to get the pass breakups or the interceptions. All right, I'm on Johnson. If he does run that corner play again, or he doesn't. It's the seam. Oh, God. Harrison Smith, dude, again, he's in an outside third. There's no clear out. Like, an outside third has the responsibility of that corner route, and he's simply not playing it. And, like, I don't know why he's not good. Like, I understand he's not fast. But it seems like he just doesn't even realize that this route is coming in there. All right, so we're going to bring him down again. And again, that should help. That should help him play this. All right, now I'm going to help in the flat to the left. I got the slot receiver manned up. And if he goes on that corner route, I'm just going to leave him. I'm also going to back off. All right, I want to back off Kalen Barnes. I'm going to let him go. All right, I think he wants to throw it to DK. He motions him in. I'm all over that. There we go, boys. And it's a sack on third down. It's going to be fourth and 15. This could be the stop we were looking for. Fourth and 15. I'm going to let everything go underneath me. And I'm manning up the running back, all right? So he might try to hit the seams. We're all over that. And we're not because what? Where is my... You guys saw I had a soft squat. I had a flat out there. That is just incredibly unfortunate because of, how does a flat not play that? A backed off. I should have turned it into a cloud flat. That is so unfortunate, man. All right. That is that is just a fat L. He's throwing that. I'm there. Oh, my God, dude. Come on. All right. This is what our defense looks like. I should man up the slot. All right. There we go. This is what our defense looks like here. We're going to run a hard flat on the left. Motion's over Rashad Bateman. We got to watch the tight end primarily. Tight end's past him. How did the tight end get past him? Got to be a pick. Somebody pick the ball off! No, no. I couldn't get, yo, I couldn't get on my user. Good dot, I, could, I couldn't get on my user. I couldn't get on my user. We got the user hit stick with Harrison, uh, but again, no fumble. That's tough, bro. That's tough. This is not good. Come on, boys, somebody! Ow! Oh! Quandre Diggs standing in the back of the end zone, not playing anything. I don't know why he was so far in the end zone, man. Jeez, good dot. All right, he's off coverage here. If he blitzes, we're throwing the flats. He blitzed. We throw the flats. We throw the flats. I would have liked a few extra yards, but we'll take that. All right, we're going to be looking at Christian Watson up that sideline. He's fast as hell, so we should outrun everybody. There we go! Christian! Over the top of the DB. Now, that man has deep out zone KO and pick artist. So, unless he's wide open like he was, that will not be completed. Huge play right there. You know what? I'm not going to lie. That guy's inside again on Christian Watson. We're throwing that up to him again, and he's going to catch it again. There he is. Six foot four. 95 speed. Do not inside shade on that man. You will pay the ultimate price. Uh-oh. Motion blocks DK. It's like almost like he knew that was coming. Harrison finally makes a play. Finally, Harrison Smith hits the sideline and does something worth half a shit. All right, second and 10 now. We got uh, Marcus Peters on the outside. He's not very fast, so we're going to back him off just so we make sure he doesn't get beat deep. And then on the left side, we have Quandre Diggs over the top. And again, Josh taking his sweet time, taking off like 30 seconds, making these audibles every time. Good dot. Good dot. I thought he was going to go to the corner route. Good dot. Should have been there over the middle. That's on me. All right. We are only blitzing off the left side this time. All right. We got cloud flats on the outside. These soft squats let me down. Last time we had him in a fourth and 15, the soft squad just didn't play his zone. So we're, we're going to be try to be playing clouds pretty much every time. That's got to be us, right? Harrison yet again. DK Metcalf, all 94 speed of him. Looked like he very well could have been over the top, but Harrison Smith makes another big play. So far on this drive, two pass breakups from Harrison Smith. All right, we're blitzing the house. Again, I don't want to let him sit in the pocket and have time. That's me! That's why we blitz. I don't want to let him sit in the pocket and have time to make a read. He's got to think quick, and when you got to think quick, you're going to make mistakes. All right, so once again, I'm noticing, so we just backed off that corner on the outside. That means he doesn't want him to get beat deep, which also means we're going to try to hit the flat. We got all our timeouts, so I don't feel uncomfortable going inside. Actually, we only have two timeouts. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Bringing down the safeties. All right, we're going to be looking at either Thielen down the seam. We might have Thielen if we can pick up the pressure. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. He's fast. He's a... F no! I 
I should have gone down, all right? I, I wanted to try to save a timeout. I thought he was going to click on and try to hit stick early, and I thought we'd get outside to the sideline. You're the tight end. I was pressured, Michael. I had too much pressure. That's why I took off. I was looking for the tight end. Oh, he's showboating now. He's diving and showboating now. He thinks he thinks he has this one in the bag. No. No, my friend. He's in dollar, and I'm, I'm still guessing this is a cover four or a cover three. The difference is we have... I mean, if we, if we just motion block seven, how do we not get a second there? Okay, again, he is pressing on that left sideline. We just need a little bit of time here. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nah, it's okay. It's okay. He had a safety over the top that time. He switched his defense. We can't even get the pass off, man. All right, I see one thing that I like, and it's Christian Watson on that left sideline. And I'm throwing that. That better be a good throw. Malik. Malik! You son of a bitch! We have a touchdown, dude. Why is it that the best open reads are the ones that get missed? That is so tough. That ties up the game at half. That's, that's terrible, bro. Oh, my God. I'm, if I can pick up the pressure. All right, we know he's blitzing. Oh, he hits that one, does it? He hits that one! Not the one before half. He hits that one. Thank you, Malik. Honestly, if, if there's no safety over the top of Marquise Brown, there's not. Oh, good, good defense. Good defense. No. Oh, my God. This pressure's killing us, man. The pressure is absolutely killing us. Good catch, good catch, we're going for it. Good catch, we're going for it. That was incredibly risky. I just took a chance there and it paid off. Come on, baby! Playoff Lenny! Leonard Fournette. All right, thanks to Threat Detector. I knew I was throwing that from the start. All right, I'll show you guys what the play art looked like and why I threw that. All right, we see on the right side, everyone's blitzing. The only person that can play Leonard Fournette is the safety, who's like 20 yards off. So we get the quick pass out there. And it's just going to be one-on-one. -on -one. I am so thankful for Leonard Fournette, bro. All right, first and 10, blitzing off the right side. We got a cover three shell. All right, with the two slot guys manned up. I got to watch the tight end and the running back on the right side. We're watching the tight end. And Harrison Smith is nowhere to be found in man coverage. All right, we're blitzing five this time. We Last time, the only way we got to stop was with the pressure, man. We got to, yes, we got to rely on the pressure, all right? We're going to send pressure because that's the only time we get stops, all right? Blitzing, nonstop. All right, we got a hard flat on the left side. We're blitzing off the right side, and the slot's manned up. It's going to the zig route, and there's a tackle. There's a tackle, Kalen. All right, third and long, third and 15. All right, on this down, this sets up what could be the biggest fourth down of the game. All right, third and 15. I'm blitzing five again. I'm letting everything underneath. If he throws the running back in the left side, we'll let him have it. Oh, my God, it's fourth and long. Kyle Duggar off the edge says, I don't give a shit about your play action. I'm going for the quarterback, and that's our third sack of the game. What the heck is up with my, my defense right here? I have no idea what's going on with the defense right here. We're just going to hope he doesn't go on a... There we go, boys. There we go. There's a turnover, all right? I don't know what was going on with my defensive alignment. I, I, like, I put the guy in what I thought was a cloud flat. He was in a mid-read. Right, my primary read is actually going to be Marquise Brown. Never mind. We got Cordero. Patty with the fatty in the end zone. The second huge catch in traffic from the running back. All right, I did not think we'd be able to rely on him for his hands, but here we are. He's changing the game for us. Last drive on third and 10, he had a great catch between two defenders. This one, despite him not being very open. Why is his short, his short and elite is not lighting up? I don't know, but he's making great catches. I just realized we had a very slow player on the field here. Now we should have a little bit more speed with our user. That makes a lot of sense why we felt so sluggish out there. Our user, I think, had like low 80s speed. All right, now we got somebody who's in the 90s. We should be a little bit better. All right, I'm going to still blitz five because, honestly, we've gotten the most pressure when we've sent the most pressure, obviously. But we've gotten the most stops, I should say. The only time we've gotten stops is when we send pressure. I don't know what the hell I was saying there. Disregard what I said. Uh-oh. No, no one's on the running back. Kalen Barnes just got smoked. He's got 97 speed. And he got smoked, all right? He's in an outside 30, just got ran by. I thought 97 speed would be able to press there, but I was very wrong. All right, first and 10. We got the same defense on the field, all right? Everybody's manned up except for the outside receiver on the right. And then we got two cloud flats. So I'm going to have to help over the middle. And uh, the problem is there's a lot of space. 
There we go, boys. There we go. That's great defense. That's honestly the best defense we could ask for. Second and 15. We can hold strong in the red zone. That's where we've been best so far. All right, blitzing off the left side this time. Clock is continuing to tip, tick. Second and 15 here. Oh my God, I thought I was under that, man. I thought I was under that. I thought I was under that and I took my eyes off the prize. Should have been a pick, honestly. I ran with that. I don't know why I didn't cover it better. In the past, we're playing a cover four. And you know what? I'm gonna use our Harrison Smith because he's got pick artist. There we go, boys. I feel like this is great defense. Almost a coverage sack. I say almost because it's actually an interception. Come on, man. Amadi in the perfect spot to make the play. We're up seven. We're going to go get another seven. We're going to end this game. I'm not just going to just going to try to ride the clock out or anything like that. I'm going to I'm going to try to end the game. I'm going to try to go get seven. I'm going to do it fast. Blitzen. There we go, Marquise. 98 speed, Marquise Brown. A big catch and another first down. It looks like he just manned up the slot. Cordero Patterson is manned up. Let's see if he's shaded down or not. He's not manned up, actually. Probably should have been manned up. And that's another first down, boys. Would not be surprised if he blitzed the house right here. If he does that, we're probably going to the flats. And that's a big sack. I'm not talking about Johnny Sins. We had our in route. That's what I tried to throw. Pressure got in there a little early, man. Our first read's going to be flat on the right. Adam Thielen. That's where we're going. Wide open. Pick up a block. Christian Watson. The devastating downfield block gives us some space. And it's another first down for the Raiders. All right, we're going to test Marquise Brown up this right side. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, it's grounding, man. This pressure, dude. I swear. I blocked my running back. The pressure still gets in there so quick. All right, we're going to get the flats again, man. Adderall Adam drops it. Oh, my God. What in the world? Yo, we have the first down, and he just drops it. He just he hits his hands. He drops it. No pressure, nothing. All right? That is that is disgusting. All right? So what we're going to try to do here is go to the flats. We need a few yards. I think we can kick this. All right? We get to the 39. I need my three. All right? We got our field goal. Should have been a first down, if I'm being completely honest. Should have been a first down. The kick is up, and the kick is good. Man, we would still be on the road to the end zone right now if Adam Thielen didn't decide to drop a wide open pass. And that's the first time he's really let us down. All right, now we're in a position where I'm just going to send the house and play off coverage, right? We're up, we're up 10 with 122 left, and I, I just don't want to let him hit a deep ball. That's really my main concern here is the deep ball. We'll let him throw that, take a little time off the clock, tackle him inbounds, most importantly. And I think he's going to try to save those timeouts. We got a little momentum on our side, too. We can see the tight end on that out route changes it to a post. That's a good dot. Just make a tackle inbounds. No! How, how do you miss that tackle, Marcus Peters? Is Marcus Peters paid off? Did the other team pay off Mike Star Corner? All right, man. Now we're running a little bit of man coverage. All right, we're shading over the top. So I'm actually going to back off Peters again, just in case DK Metcalf decides to go deep, because I know for a fact... Yeah, I'm going to shade over the top. I, I do not want to get beat deep. Probably go to a corner out here. Good defense, boys. Good defense. Got to throw that one away. 45 seconds on the clock. 45 seconds on the clock. I right, run another cover three cloud look, but we are switching which side we're running it to. I'm going to man up the corner here because uh, I think he's going to go to PA slot cross. Yes, he is. It's all bagged. Got to be a pick. Holy cow, he almost caught it. He got hands on it. Despite there being double coverage there. All right, we're manning up the slot. We're going to go with the crosser here. You can throw that. Just take, tackle him. Inbounds, inbounds. That looked like it was inbounds. I swear his butt cheek hit inbounds. Can we challenge that? I feel like Josh should uh, should kick his three here. Yeah, he's going to. All right, smart move from my opponent. Going to kick his three, make it a one-possession ball game. So it will be a seven-point game with 30 seconds on the clock. I assume he's going to go for an onside kick. And then he still has three timeouts in the off chance. He does not get it. All right, I'm going to keep passing, by the way. I'm not going to try to run out the clock on him. I'm going to keep passing because that's what champions do. Okay, champions pass. I'm going to really pass. I'm going to really pass. Christian Watson. Outside. He might be gone. The MVP of the game so far, Christian Watson. And I'm going to actually give Josh the ball back with about 10 seconds. All right, so at about 12... I'm going to call the timeout. I'm going to punt him the ball, 
And I'm going to give him a Hail Mary opportunity. All right? All right I'm going to kick this one out of bounds. I think this is our first punt all year. Not typically a punting team. All right? But with seven seconds left, Josh is getting the ball back. And he's going to have a Hail Mary to win the game. All right, seven seconds on the clock. We're only going to be blitzing four here. And I got to run right back with my user. I'm assuming that's going to be a motion block. No. Pressure does not come in, by the way. He's going... Oh, he throws it underneath. I'm not going to lie to you guys. He might have had DK. DK running down the seam looked like he might have been open if it was a good ball. One second on the clock. He's got to go 44 yards. Uh oh, he might have it. I, I didn't get set up at all. I didn't get set up at all. It's going to be DK Metcalf against Harrison Smith. And Harrison Smith, the player I called out in the pregame, is the one who comes down with the game-winning interception his first of the year. Harrison Smith... I'm proud of you for bouncing back this game. You had a good game, Harrison. All right, boys. We got a victory. We got a victory. Now we're heading on to Mutt. All right, boys. Hey, it was a different game this week, okay? Last week, we had six interceptions. This week, only one turnover, and it came on a fumble. So I'm not even mad about that. We had a phenomenal game on offense. We were, however, 0 for 4 on third down. So we got to be better on third down. Fourth down, though, 2 for 3. And one of them went for a touchdown in a crucial play. So... Team played very well this week. I think the player of the game was Christian Watson. It forced him to completely have to rearrange his defense because Christian Watson was just burning past the cornerbacks all day. You see, they just can't keep up with him. He's six foot four, 95 speed, and on top of that, somehow gets his feet in on this play. Christian Watson had a pretty big day, made some huge catches. I don't know if that's in. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if that's in. Maybe it should have been a challenge. I don't know if we're calling that one in. Hey, doesn't matter. Christian Watson, you're the MVP of the game. We are now 2-2. Two and two. We advance in our division. And we'll keep the momentum going in the next week. Now I'm on the outside.